thing is, um, it's oceanic. Oceanic is similar to what we do when we cross the uh, cross the Atlantic, which means that there are no waypoints as such. We use coordinates instead. From our uh, headquarters, and they say, hello, uh, Fox number Charlie, that's us, that's our uh, registration. And it, they report the weather for us. So to a normal airport, you can just request the weather from a weather database, but there's no such thing for Troll. So Troll, the station, sends the weather to uh, our headquarters in Arendal, and they forward it to us. So what they say here now is that we have a southerly, uh, southeasterly wind, good visibility. There is some clouds, some broken clouds. Temperature is minus 10. And then they give us the uh, altimeter setting, which in this case is 9 and 9 and 5. And then, which is also unusual for an airport, is we got two uh, additional ones, which is HMCM. That means uh, the horizon is uh, moderate and the contrast is moderate. So we're okay with, uh, with that, uh, but it's something that we, um, we monitor. For example, we, we wouldn't want to try to land with the horizon poor or the contrast poor, because uh, when, uh, when you touch down in, in ice and, and snow, if there is no horizon, or if there is no contrast, there is no horizon, you don't, can't really tell the difference between what is the glacier and what is the sky. So uh, that is a type of report that we don't see on any other airports, but, but here that's, uh, that's quite important. In terms of technology, 787 is, uh, is a modern airplane, and perhaps what sets it apart from the previous generation, there's a lot of different uh, technologies here that we have. Uh, the cabin altitude is a little bit lower, and, and um, it's, it's very electrical. So instead of taking the pressurization from the, the engine air, we take it from electrical compressors. But what, what's a big difference for us today is that we have these head-up displays, the HUDs. And um, when we fly into uh, Troll Station, there is, uh, we have a little bit of a, we have a GPS approach. So there is an approach there that is based on GPS, but um, we don't have the usual visual um, guidance uh, aids that they have on, on other airports. So the HUD has this indication that shows us uh, where we're going. So we can use that to aim uh, towards our touchdown point, And that makes this approach a lot easier. A, um, a left turn, sorry, a right turn onto the uh, final. And we'll see when we get a bit closer what the, what the weather is like and what the wind is. Obviously, we are aiming for a headwind landing. So it's in a way kind of similar to an oceanic flight. We have some waypoints in the beginning and then we have um, a little bit of um, coordinates over the oceanic part and then we got waypoints again when we, when we arrive. Hello, Troll Airfield, the Longship 787. We're passing 15,000 feet. The estimated landing in uh, nine minutes. Longship 787. Landing in Troll Airfield. Landing in. I'm in. Yeah, landing in uh, less than 10 minutes for runway 27.
Welcome to Antarctica. This is the most spectacular place on Earth. It is truly magic to arrive here and it's like descending into space. And, and coming to Antarctica is uh, a bit in our company's spirit. We are explorers uh, and we are following in the footsteps of uh, a lot of great men and women who have explored this vast continent and there's still a lot of things to explore here. What a place. And clearly, I shouldn't even need to say it, the most amazing place I've ever landed at. It's one thing to sit in an office, do studies, watch videos of other people landing here, but then to come here, wow, I'm, I don't really have words. But uh, this is something to process for uh, quite some time and, and uh, yeah, what a dreamy place. So what we're doing right now is we're offloading the cargo. We have this um, front loader that uh, what you see in the front there is a uh, platform that was uh, custom built for this purpose. It unfolds and then we use that to offload cargo from the aircraft. Uh, we're uh, having cargo in both the forward and the aft hold here. The heavy stuff is in the forward hold. So um, for the aft, we can, uh, we can use, uh, just, we just hand carry it off. But then uh, in the front, we have heavy stuff. And uh, for that, we need the front loader. And uh, we're estimating to be here on the ground for about three hours. Uh, and most of that time will be spent taking off the cargo. What a beautiful place. I'm still processing this. <laughs>
the airfield. Ja, hej. Vi vill bara se någon välvald till ord här på vår färd mot Cape Town. Kör varandra på 12 på vägen av Norsk Atlantic och Boeing som vill få tag i på den professionella varmen mottag. Ja, jag hoppar Norsk Atlantic ändå den resan har visat om och pågående som mottog hos dagens Norsmän. Det är höjst levande. Och att en titan och karbonfiber är lika enligt ett högt förhåll som tre år. Det går på en annan med en stor tack till Norsk Bolagsinstitut för deras gästerhet och stötta. Och så rätt en stor tack till Kai i Erkontekt. Och vi hoppas att vi markerar starten på ett langvarig samband med Lone 10 och Erkontekt. Och så önskar vi hela besättningen här önskar dig en trygg avvintring och en riktig god jul. Och på snarlig gänsyn. Ha det gott. Du är tack för fin hilsen. Du är alltid välkommen igen. Ha en trygg tur hem till Norge. Tack för det. Ha det gott allsamman.